This is Monkey King Rambo. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Welcome to a new round of State of Survival. Today we talk about the Razor Raid this summit and you will have a lot of questions and I will try to answer them best well known based on PTR, based on some confirmation, based on some half confirmations from some community managers. So let's try to get it done together, but be aware everything we are talking about is subject to change. As you will see here now, this screenshot out of the official State of Survival YouTube announcement, there it says this event will be on Saturdays. You will see it is not the case, so this is best tried effort. Let's check it out. The season lasts long for 12 weeks. You will see that right now here it says 3 of 12. We hadn't had 3 matches for now, but I think that is to make different kind of leaks. We don't know that by now, but it seems like it is the case that this is the way. The matches will be always on Sunday and the options you have on Sunday is 4 UTC, 11 UTC, 16 UTC and 21 UTC and you have to choose 3 times. And the first chosen time is your priority 1 time, the second chosen is second priority and the last is the last priority. Based on these times and based on your priority the matchmaking will happen. The improved advanced version of the Reservoir Rate League. We will see if that stays, but that's the information I got. And the conditions to play Reservoir Raid this summit are nearly the same as for normal Reservoir Raid. So you need to be registered as one of 30 participants or as one of 10 reservists. Your march needs to be at home, your hospital needs to be empty. Enlistment doesn't matter, but hospital, especially when you have state versus state on Saturday before, this will be a struggle. So keep up your alliance at that point after state versus state to keep healing. Or before they go offline, they should be healed at that time and shield. So you see here five ranks from bronze to diamonds. That are five ranks and with the start of the season, which we have now all. You see here a calibration starts and the calibration is to check if your alliance will be allocated to one of the ranks already before. So for example, I would expect my alliance will end up in gold, platinum or diamond. The rank calibration is based on alliance battle power as well as your winning streak in reservoir rate. So how you go up the ranks? This is after the calibration points per one match and you will get points per one match you do not lose if you lose a match the stronger your opponent you are winning against the higher are the points you will get and you will see here the target points you need to get into another rank and as mentioned so the season opening is from monday to tuesday on wednesday as you know from the normal reservoir rate you can start with the registration of players. Same conditions as World of a Rate. 30 players can be participants, up to 10 can be reservists. The matching will be on Friday. So you will see unknown or maybe known opponent you are matching on Sunday. And now we're coming to a few questions. For example, will I be able to leave within the season? Yes, you are. But important thing, if you are registered as reservist or as participant, you can't leave between Thursday after reset till Sunday after reset. You can leave the alliance again on Monday, but not on the weekend. So you can't join a state versus state alliance at that point. After the season, you will get rewards. You will get rewards at the end of the season, for example, at Diamond. I was part in my alliance, I stayed the whole season at my alliance. I won, for example, with my alliance 12 out of 12 fights. This means I would get 120 legendary frags. For example, a free-to-play play out of my alliance just joined three of the fights we won. He will get only 30. If another player participate in eight of the fights and we won them all, 
he will get 80 legendary fragments. That's how you need to understand the winning rewards. I know it's a disadvantage for state versus state alliances, but if you remember the Reservoir Raid League season one to three, you were also locked into the alliance. Now you can leave in between. You can also play with a different team because every time it will be a new team that you can put up for the fight. I hope I could help you with this insight for now and it will give you first information and first insights of this event.